Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. Here is another update for week nine and 10 at the liquidation station. All right, so first off, we always do a tour through the liquidation station. And what are the new things that I have put on the shelf this week? Yes, it does look very similar. We restocked some things. We have been selling a lot of things there. We've got some trains, and now we even have some of our magic sets, our giant coffee mug. Our big fat cat is still there, um, but we've been selling tons of the mermaid tails uh, while we've been there. They have a local city pool in town and so that's been really popular because those are not fun to sell we've got jelly bellies bean boozled and cotton candy unbearably hot ones we've of course got all our candy clubs there and so those have been really good sellers on a regular basis and they have a good shelf life on them because they're sealed and packaged very very well so if you want some candy Come and get some, yum, yum, yum. We've got some of our fun American flag hats. And of course, our favorite thing, popcorn, popcorn, and more popcorn in every flavor you can imagine. You can also buy the popcorn online. So we've got some sweet flavors, savory flavors, and just some traditional flavors like kettle corn or just buttery or extra cheddar. So toys are a huge hot seller. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we restock all of our toys. We put some new things in there. So we've moved the headphones over here to this section there hoping that they'll get some more traction. We got some magic stuff. We move the fubbles up, which are bubble blowing machines that are handheld. And then of course our traditional things that sell on a regular basis. So we've got our pooper scoopers still there. We've been selling them occasionally. Our pet treat launchers and our easy pans have been moved to this section as well. I did do a little bit of changing on the front window here. So we still have our hats, which have been good sellers, our magnet screens, all that top shelf is similar. Then we moved these to the end so that you can see them through the window. We still have our yummy flavored popcorns here. And then we have some origami. That is a new thing that we have just added as well as I've displayed um, the gigantic coffee mug here and the baseball plate. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a tour through the rest of their store just to see what do they have on the shelves. They regularly change a lot of their shelves. And so every time I come through, I'm seeing something new. Look at that, it's a Star Wars water bottle. How fun is that? TIE fighters and everything. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna see, we've got a lot of like kitchen napkins and fun uh, coffee cups. And we've got some fun um, stationary gift bags. That's always amazing here. They've got a ton of new toys, which we may be premiering some of them on our next fire sale, which is August 19th, right here on the Hooked on Pickin' YouTube channel at noon Central Standard Time. That is a Thursday. Usually we have them on Fridays. We move them to Thursday. Here's a bunch more toys. So make sure you come and join us. Some Barbie mystery toys. How fun are those? And then of course we've got some shoes and clothing. They still have a bunch of Christmas stuff out and so it's coming Christmas time. If you want some discounted Christmas stuff, come to New Baden, Illinois, N-E-W-B-A-D-E-N, -E -E Illinois, and you can find some amazing, amazing things at the liquidation station. It is open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so you can come and check it out. They do have a website. So you can go ahead and click the link in the description below if you are interested in finding out any more. She also has a website where she can ship some stuff too. So we've still got some bathing suits and stuff that they're trying to move. So this is a good time if you can't find a bathing suit in the store to find them here. Um, and then of course more Christmas. Then we're going to, oh, I, th I think they got some Halloween. I'm gonna peek back at the Halloween in just a minute. Bunch of Here's, here's me peeking back at the Halloween. So look at these fun pumpkins. So Halloween is just around the corner. So if you maybe would like some of these things on the fire sale, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I might be able to acquire some from her for our fire sale. And of course, here's Christmas trees. So we've got some fun storage options, planners, pots, some toys, some succulents, fake succulents. So if you can't grow a plant, here we go. We got fake ones for you. We got curtain rods galore, lots of tension rods. Look at that, raid uh, ant killers, spider killers, all that kind of stuff. Um, so anything to keep the buggies away, we've got right here. Then we've got some fun toys, Valentine items.
some paper plates of any sort. So if you want any sort of paper plates, you're gonna find them at a steep discount. This is essentially like a Target outlet. Now here's the cool part. So we've got school supplies, school supplies, tons of backpacks. We've got two full shelves of these kind of backpacks. They are amazing. Look at them. They're regular size backpacks. we got the mini ones for the preschoolers, dinosaur, and we've got some nice trendy ones for the teenage high school age. So if you need trapper keepers, backpacks, um, we've got locker decor right here and stationery and fun sticky notepads and fun pens and gems and anything you need to be able to go back to school. Look at this fuzzy pen. Depends. Um, we have it here at the liquidation station. So check it out. You will love it. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing. And so you will have to check out the liquidation. Look at all the notebooks and composition books and three ring binders and folders and pens and markers. And oh my goodness, just lose your mind with all of the school supplies. See how many we've got pencil cases coming out our ears and we've got file folders and regular folders and notebooks and cute trendy little spiral bound writing pads. Just tons of stuff that you can get for school supplies. We've got locker mirrors and locker decor and all sorts of fun things that you can have right here at the liquidation station. So if you are stocking up for school, you need to come to this place because they have so much stuff, you will lose your mind. And it's all really nice. These are the cool plastic folders. I don't know about you, but the paper folders die halfway through the year with my kids. So I usually buy the plastic ones because they usually last longer. All folders, 25 cents each or five for a dollar. So there you go. Tons of stuff. There's the locker decor. You can see my camera there. Magnetic locker mirror. And we've got some more fun folders in here, all sorts of fun designs for any kind of taste and flavor. Flavor? Don't eat folders, that's weird. <laughs> anyway, so look at all the pencil cases. How cool is that? There's even a panda one. I won't let Faith see that, she'll try to steal it. <laughs> We got some cool lamps here, more book bags. It's a Minecraft book bag. And we've got some kind of fun baby clothes things on the front end here. So lots of fun things at the liquidation station. Really great. You'll be able to find amazing things. We're going to wander around over to this section off to the side here. Oh, one quick thing I wanted to show you. We have every size of this kind of bathing suit. So we've got the Little Mermaid and we've got Girl Power Wonder Woman ones. So if you need a bathing suit like that, we've got all of the children's girls sizes. We've got tons of chocolates here. So you can go ahead and have your feast there. Some Sour Patch Kids, and then we've got some more fun decor things here. So she's got some clothing, um, some intimates, things like that right there. And then we have um, some heated blankets and comforters and bedding sets. You name it, it is at the liquidation station. So really fun things. And so they like to move things around pretty regularly. And so I like to give you a tour of the store every, uh, every other week since we do the update for weeks nine and 10. We're gonna give you the numbers here in just a little bit. So stay tuned because we'll be giving you the numbers of everything that we have sold at the liquidation station. Now remember, this is the entire store but um, we only have that one little tiny island. So it's kind of a awesome thing because um, we are able to bring in some more customers and then we don't have to man the store, they man the store, but then we give them a commission. And so there's the front road there. And so we're gonna come back around and there's one of those cute bunny ottomans. So those are just fun for the house. And one last look at our little island that we have stocked for the liquidation station. Let's go ahead and get what the numbers are for the weeks. Okay, so we've got the numbers for weeks 9 and 10 down at the liquidation station. So it's been a great place for us. We're making money consistently every week, usually making $100 or over a week now. So it's been great. And we had a couple of decent weeks this, week, uh, this time to report too. So week 9... Remember, uh, we're open three days, so you're not open uh, every day of the week, um, but um, still great uh, to get the sales here. So we always break it down into food, toys, and miscellaneous. So week nine food was $5.99. Yay! We sold uh, one candy club, So, but uh, consistently always sells something when it comes to food down there. 
Toys, Toys has just been a very consistent seller for us there. We had several different sales in Toys for $43.93. Our biggest sale week nine was a Minnie Mouse purse for $14.99. So uh, we normally sell those online too, but it's nice to have another spot that we can sell it. And then Miscellaneous came to $55.97. And the big sale there was a Tommy Bahama chair that would have been a nightmare to ship. We would have never made anywhere near the amount of money if we tried to ship it or send it into Amazon or something like that. We made $39.99 on that chair. So week nine's total sales was $105.89. So we broke the $100 mark. So that's always good to be able to see, see that. Now week 10, we did even better on week 10. So week 10, Food sales was a total of $20.44. We sold five different kinds of Jelly Belly bags, so that was good to be able to do that. Toys, lots of toys sold for a total of $79.88. We sold four of those mermaid tails. Some of you have seen those mermaid tails. They've been selling great down there at the store. And then we also, on miscellaneous, sold $89.71 of miscellaneous. So our big sale there was a cornhole game that we had for $39.99 that we got in a big pallet. That, again, would have been a nightmare to ship to be able to do that. For a grand total, week 10 sales of $190.03. So great numbers down at the store. So really interested in what's going to happen around fourth quarter as people get close to Christmas. Kind of excited how much we're going to sell down there. Thanks for joining us at the Liquidation Station. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.